Hey everyone, this is Pete. Welcome back to New Game Plus. As you recall, we've been playing through Atelier Rorona DX on the Nintendo Switch. This is not Atelier Rorona DX, but I don't have a physical version of that to show you, so here's the PS3 version of Atelier Rorona Plus, which is basically the same game anyway. Last time around, we beat the first assignment and uh, completed a whole bunch of side quests as well. So today's job is to make a start on the second assignment. Let's take a look. Right, you rejoin us, as I recall, at the start of the second assignment. So let's just check what we need to do. So, this time around we need to create explosives. We need to turn in three kinds of items, bomb, barrel and cannon. The higher quality, the better. And along with that, we have uh, a bunch of other requests to do, just like last time as well. So we'll see what we can do with those. As before, we're going to try and prioritize uh, completing the objective, first of all. And then we'll use the spare time after that to uh, grind up some reputation and do some quests and that sort of thing. So, let's see what we've got in terms of stuff. So, we can make two bombs right now. Because we've only got two supplements. Uh, bombs take 0 0.6 days to make. So, uh, what I'm going to do... We can make one cannon as well. I'm going to make a few supplements. Let's make ten, because that will take us two days. And pick some stuff that we don't need too much. So phlogiston we're going to need, because that's part of bomb making. Uh, water is probably as good as anything, because we can get that for free from the well. So Ten supplements, if you please. Thank you very much. And cutscene time. Hello。あれ、どうしたんですか? <laughs> Okay, so under normal circumstances, um, what would happen here is that you can start placing the decoration items I mentioned last time. Uh, but because this is a New Game Plus run, I've already got a whole bunch of them put around the place already, so we don't need to worry about that too much. But if you do want to decorate it, you guys are on this diary over here. Choose Decorate. And then you have all of the possible things that you can place right here. Right, let's make some bombs. Let's make ten bombs. Let's go for quality. There we go. Alright, six days well spent. I think you'll agree. Lots of experience for that. Nearly two levels. Right, let's go turn those in and see how much that gets us in terms of progress. We've got some events as well, so let's pay them a visit first of all. There's normally a whole bunch of new events around the start of each new assignment, so it's worth taking the time to pop round and uh, pick those up. Poor girl. Poor girl. But it makes us stronger. That which does not kill you and all that.
こっちは嬢ちゃんのためにずっといろいろ考えてたってのによごごめんなさいいやこれから作るそれからうん俺もいろいろ考えてなでもそれじゃ商売にならねえからう私お金全然ないですよ嬢ちゃんの懐具合ぐらい分かってるよ答えは一つ自分で材料はでこっそれで、エクイプメントシンセシスワークスイスティユカンマイククロフアンイングッツアンハグルヘイウィルタンナムイントウェポンスアンアーマーあら。もしかしてお買い物だったいえそれはいいんですけど主人のお墓参りに本当は命日に行かないといけないんだけどあ,あごめんなさい私うん、うん、気にしないで一応夕方には戻ってくると思うけどいえ全然大丈夫です<笑>ありがとう。So, Tiffany is a widow, but that doesn't stop all the men in town lusting after her. In fact, that probably makes all the men in town lust after her, as you may recall from previous episodes. Right, I think that's all the events, isn't it? So, let's go and pay the castle a visit. So, as you might recall from the first episode, you have this bingo card here,、um, and completing the various lines on here rewards you with those things that you can see over on the right of the screen there. So, <coughs> oh, excuse me, it's the old Coke again. There we are.、Um, but anyway,、uh, what was I saying before I belched? Uh, yeah, so if you complete the lines on the screen, you will、um, unlock those various rewards at the side of the screen. So those can be permanent rewards to、uh, Rorana's stats. They can be new books which have recipes in them,、uh, or they can be various buffs, items of equipment, money, all sorts of things. So let's just start in the corner. Right, got a whole bunch of stuff there, so you can have all of those. And we're done already. Thanks for watching. See you next time. No,、um, since we've got that out of the way so quickly, we may as well spend a bit more time、uh, just, you know, knocking around and doing some stuff. So we need to do some more synthesizing. We need to do some more gathering, some fighting, some quests. Make a weapon. Fire a cannon. Use a bomb. Use a barrel. Kill five Donans who are in the mines, I think. And make some tink, which is a type of ingot. So that's all very doable. Let's start with some quests. Right, got loads of them, so you can have some of them. Also got a fair few of them, so you can have some of them too. None of them,、uh, none of them, but I can. Yeah, I'm not going to take those on for now, just because I know myself too well. I take on requests and then I go out questing and then I don't leave myself enough time to get back home to actually submit them. So, what we'll do is we'll go and pay the mines a visit and take things from there. So,、um, Who have we got in the party in a minute? Cordelia and Ixel, still, who are, I think, the only people we've got available still. So we can hire Sturk now as well, can't we?、Um, but I think what we'll do is we'll keep Cordelia and Ixel in for the minute. Just because people, keeping people in your party is the easiest way to raise their friendship level up to a certain point. 
uh, you can get their friendship up to level 60, which is enough to trigger most of their events in most cases. And after that, you just need to sort of top it up using the requests occasionally. So um, given that in this playthrough, I'm trying to get as many events as possible, uh, we may as well try and grind them up as high as possible before we switch them out for someone else. So let's go. I don't think I can make any... I'm going to make a barrel. Let's make a couple of them. Because it did want me to use some of those. That was one of the requests, wasn't it? It's not a very good barrel, but it will do. Alright, and off we go. To the mines. Which are two days away. Right, and you may recall that if you look at the map at the start, um, there are two exits from this place, which means that you need to visit this place a minimum of twice to be able to unlock both of those new areas. So there's the first one. If you look at the map now, we've branched off in that direction without too much difficulty. There's an event there with Ixal, so we're going to do that, and then we'll come back and we'll take the other pathway. I love that item, it's just called some egg. It's just like, what's that? It's just 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 some egg, isn't it? Right, time for puny brutality. Events like that that you saw with Ixel, I think he's got one in each dungeon. So seeing all his events is less a case of grinding up his friendship and more just making sure you take him everywhere. Because Ixel likes to be taken everywhere, if you know what I mean. Right, I think that's a Donan. Yes, yes it is. Oh dear, bye bye. That's actually quite a tough fight when you first encounter it. But, well, you know, super equipment. Being probably at least five levels ahead of where the game expects you to be at this point as well. It's going pretty well. There's a bomb. We can use that and get some credit for it. Right, back to the entrance. I do like the additional costumes in this. I'm not normally a big fan of sort of steampunk inspired stuff, but I just like the fact that they're kind of combined with a bit more in the way of colour in this, because a lot of steampunk stuff tends to be quite kind of brown and grey and that sort of thing, but this this combines it with some, some of the nice colours. It's like one of the one of the kind of defining things about the whole Atelier series, and particularly the Arland series here is its use of colour, this sort of lovely uh, pastel shades thing it's got going on. So 
So each of the Atelier sub-series does have its kind of its own distinct aesthetic and different lead artists and so on. So the Arland series has Mel Kishida in charge, who has a very distinctive art style. It's quite a sort of coloured pencil look almost. And the um, the 3D models in this actually do a pretty good job of adapting that 2D artwork into 3D. That was one of the biggest enhancements with Atelier Rowan A Plus when that came out, which was a significant enhancement on the original Atelier Rowan because the original Atelier Rowena had uh, quite a significant amount of dissonance between its 3D models and its 2D artwork. In that all of the 3D models looked way too young. So they looked very much like kids. Whereas in this one they look like teenagers, which is what they're supposed to be. But besides that improvement in graphics, uh, they just sort of refined the mechanics and... Basically, they took everything they learned over the course of Atelier Totori and Atelier, Atelier Meruru, which are the two um, the two sequels in the Arland series, and then they brought it back to Verona to kind of bring it in line with the other two. That kind of had a bit of a weird effect, though, because it, it means that a poor old Atelier Totori, which is the, the middle child of the series, which originally was quite an improvement over Rorina is now in terms of mechanics and polish is probably the weakest in the series it's still a great game it's still I don't know which one's my favorite you know um I, I like all of them and and I, I don't like Atelier Totori less if you see what I mean but it's if you look at it in terms of its features and how polished it is um it's obvious that Meruru and Rorana Plus had a bit more time in the oven and just refined their formula a bit more. You'll see when we get onto that, but that will be quite a while yet, I fear. Alright, romping through these requests. And gaining levels at a pretty nice rate as well. Always good. Give me the thing. Thank you. Need some more of those Donans there. There's one. Alright, looks like we need one more, maybe. Oh, I keep forgetting we need to use items in battle, don't we? Fine, have some bomb. Mm, I think I made that barrel and then forgot to take it with me, didn't I? Oh well, never mind. Uh, right, let's send some of this shit back to the workshop. Using our secret bag. As you may recall, this is not something you can do in your first playthrough until you've constructed an item called a secret bag. Which is quite a late game item. But it's something you can carry over into New Game Plus. And very useful it is too. Alright, three different routes out of this one. Um. Yo 
Yeah, absolutely romping through those levels. There's the power of having good equipment and not having to run away in terror from these monsters the first time you encounter them. Which is what tends to happen in your first playthrough. Right, that's the bombs done. Here's our first exit. And it's another dead end. And another Donan. Excellent. Oh, another one there as well. Alright, well that's that taken care of. This one that staff hit quite hard to judge in this one. It's funny a little bit easier to judge in the in the other two games. You think with a long staff like that it'd be quite easy to hit something from a reasonable distance, and you have to actually get up quite close to get your preemptive attack off. Not that it really matters at this point. All right, back to here. Might as well grind out some experience while we're doing this. That's a Pendulok item that the ghosts drop. It's quite a useful one because it's one of those items that has a, a pretty much guaranteed trait on it called Soul Steel. And so if you can incorporate that into something you want to use that you want to be able to make use of that Soul Steel ability from, then uh, yeah, that's a reliable place to get that trait from. And it's good to take note of items like that because... There are a few points in the game where having a very specific trait is extremely useful. Alright, let's go this way. anything hit us yet. I don't think anything has hit us in, the, in this entire game just yet. Right, another dead end. And I don't think there's any monsters here either. There's some stuff though. And a chest. With a not too bad healing salve. Back to Spirit's Path once more.
I don't know why I'm bothering to sort of strategically pick pick off the ones who are first in the turn order because you know they're all dead before they get a turn so satisfying Still, all experience is good experience. Whether obtained by Fermions or Foul. Alright, done that one. Ah, right. A breakable looking rock. Now, will this bomb be enough to blow it up? Let's find out. No, it won't. Right, so in order to proceed any further, we're going to need to make a better bomb. So, let's do that. Back to the workshop because we can't go any further. And let's make some bombs. So, bomb. We've got the triangle symbol there, which, as you may recall, means that we can make it, but there's a prerequisite that we haven't quite made f uh, first. So, in this case, it's going to be the supplements. So, let's make some of them first. I'll just make five for now, because that'll take up a day. Make them nicely high quality. Um, don't really need to make them that high quality, I don't think. Let's just make use of these. That'll do. Forceful goods, that increases the power. Um, what do we want? Forceful or quality? Let's go for forceful. And then make some bombs. So I'm just going to make one of these. One or two. Just one. Because they're not going to be that useful after a certain point. In fact, they're not especially useful now for anything other than um, getting through rocks. Just because our weapons are so good. Alright, Burning Vapor, Forceful, last B-Class Bomb. That should be more like it. So stick that in the basket. Let's also make a cannon while we're here. This doesn't need to be amazing quality, so let's just... One of them. One of them. And one of them. Stick that in the basket, and also we should still have a barrel. Let's take that in the basket as well. I'm going to do those other requests. Right, event, and then back out, back out again. So this event here, this probably is tied to Ixel's friendship level. Alright, out we go again, back to the mines, and let's see if 
Our shiny new bomb will do the trick. Where was it? It was Spirit's Path, wasn't it? And in the meantime, you can grind out those other requirements. So, fire the cannon! It's almost a shame not to not to need to use a lot of these items in the early game, just because the animations for them are so fun. But such is the way of things. Right, fire the cannon again. One more of them should do the trick. Okay, so that is our cannon job taken care of. Now use the barrels. But I have a sneaking suspicion we actually need to do it three times. And we've only got two uses on this one, which is a shame. Yes, we're going to need another barrel. Right, work. Please work. It's not enough! Oh no! Right, well, okay, we're gonna have to come back later then. Um, so, what we'll do for now, we will pop back to the workshop. Pick up another barrel. And let's go turn in some quests. Polish powder. I do have one of those conveniently. And remember, Tiffany's friendship is, uh, in fact, all the shopkeepers you want to try and uh, get their relationships up because then you can use the wholesale system, which is incredibly useful. Don't have any of them. Uh, don't have any of them. Alright, so we have completed a few of those though, so let's turn those in with Stuck. Well, that's the whole bingo card done. Very nice. Right, so what else do we need to do from that list? What we do is we'll, we'll try and complete the rest of these um, requests. And that will be the episode for today. So we need to make a weapon. We need to use a barrel three times, so twice more. We need to make a really good bomb, and we need to make some tink. So that's all eminently doable. Yeah, right. So we've got slightly better kinds of bombs we can make now. Uh, right, at runestone, we can give to someone. Except they're all already wearing good stuff, so we'll just leave that in the container for the minute. Um, 
Can we make a good bomb? Yes, we can. So let's make a couple of them. A couple of them. And a couple of them. I don't know how good that's going to come out, but let's let's find out. Hmm. Well, we'll see. We'll give it a go. Uh, so, we need to make a really good bomb. So, probably the easiest way to do that is going to be to make a really good supplement. So, if we just make one, and we use our best possible item, which I... We're going 80 there. That should help. Okay, and then... Go for a bomb, and we make just one again. Use the best possible items we've got. Which are not amazing, unfortunately. Well, let's see how that comes out. Don't think that's going to be good enough. Ooh, not quite. 66. Hmm. Right, so what do we actually need to make a bomb? So we need Flogerson, Gunpowder, and Supplement. Right, it's a case of getting the, the, the good ones for the ones we have less control over. Like the, the Flogiston and the Gunpowder. Now, Hagel does sell... Flogiston. But I don't think it's... No, it's only quality 40. Which is not very good. Hmm. Right, well, anyway, forget that for now. Uh, let's make some tink if we can. Which we can. Excellent. Uh, let's make two tink, because you generally need two ingots to make a piece of equipment, and that's another objective. Not very good tink, but it doesn't need to be good tink, it just needs to be tink. And tink we have. You, big guy, make me stuff. Uh, I don't know, may you make me one of one of them. And there we go. Right, what else do we have to do? Uh, so we've done make equipment. We need to do barrel impact. We need to make a good bomb. All right. Now, because we already filled the bingo card, we don't get any more stamps. We just get the tickets. So, it's just that bomb that's going to cause us difficulty, isn't it? So, let's see if SD's got any stuff we can buy that might help with that. We've got 50 tickets. Well, she's got good Flogiston. Which might help. And she's also got high quality stuff we can make supplements from. So let's let's give it a try. So we'll take one of them. And we'll take one of them to make a supplement from. So then we just need some good gunpowder. Which uh, is easier said than done. Because 
So yeah, Tiffany's got beehives, which count as gunpowder, but they're only quality level 40. Which is not amazing. Let's see what we can do with this. This is the other nice thing about New Game Plus. You actually have a bit of time to experiment with stuff like this, so... Right, so let's make a good supplement again. One of them. And then... One of them. And... One of them. Let's see if that's enough. Oh, it's still 66! Oh! How upsetting. Right, well... You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna... Well, I'm gonna go here first, because this is an event. It's the men drooling over her again. Itchy nose, do apologize. Lorna's dad is a whore. It's not what it looks like. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, what was I doing? We were going out to try and find some gunpowder. Back to the mines, I guess. I don't know where you'd find good gunpowder. Iron clay, fuel dirt. There's some floggist in there. Well, let's take a chance there. It's all kind of shitty. If I can get something that's like quality 90 to make the supplement from, maybe? Maybe that will help. I can't think of anything anywhere where you can get anything that good though. 
You see anything? Let's try raiding some of those treasure chests, because those often have high quality items in them. So, there was one... not there. I think it was there, wasn't it? Yes, there it is. No, it's only quality 50, that's not going to help. Those are both kind of shitty. That is all a load of crap as well. Right, let's try another dungeon. So, let's try the ruins. Um, now, I think the end point had a treasure chest. There it is. 60. It's not really helpful. convinced we're going to be able to pull this bomb thing off at this stage unless we can get something with um, quality traits on it hmm. all right let's go back to the workshop and have a experiment I forgot to use the bloody barrels again didn't I oh well never mind um, right so synthesis this is Supplement. Let's make a few so we can choose from a few ingredients. So let's get by traits quality level one. Something that's actually reasonable quality as well as having quality level one on it would be nice. 54 with quality level one. I think that's our best bet at the minute. So we'll have one of them. In fact, let's just make two in that case. So, one of them, and then the rest, oh, bollocks. And then that one should hopefully give us something quite nice. Alright, quality 74. It's actually lower quality than we really had before. Oh, shit. Um, well, again, let's see if we can combine some ingredients. I don't think we've got much. No, we've got not, not got much in the way of interesting traits to play with. No, nothing there either. So we're going to have to pray that that... Let's make fewer of them. Because we've really not got good traits there. So, alright, best possible quality. And then quality up at the end. I still don't think that's going to be enough, though. No, 66 again. That is, that is our magic number. 
Oh. Right. So, what are our options? Yeah, nothing good enough quality there. All right, let's grind out a few quests. Um, if we can get a reputation up, then that does mean that we can get access to some additional things that we can buy from ST. So let's see what we can do with that. Lots of quests we can do. How are we doing? 17 and a half. Hmm. Alright. So you need some cannons and some blanks to you. Alright, you're on. Alright, there's your stew. And your cannons. We need some ingots. Alright. Ingots it is. How many cannons do we need? Two. So, two ingots. I don't want to waste too much money on these, so let's just use some shitty stuff. Ingots are good for um, grinding alchemy experience. Alright, very nice. So, front desk. Give me reputation. I am lovely. Alright, what else you got? Barrel. I need them. Iron clay. You can have those for sure. Magic grass. Got a few of them. Chain web. Plenty of them. Graviston, not enough of them. Ooh, up to 20. Oh, can we not get the next level of them? I thought it happened straight away. Maybe it only happens after a certain point in the uh, in the story. <sighs> right. You know what, I'm going to call it a day here, just because uh, I think there's a bit of grinding and stuff that we need to do before we're able to actually polish off those last couple of requests. So I'm going to save this here, we'll call it a day, and then we'll pick up from here next time. And that will finish off the last 30 days of assignment number two, and take us into the next assignment. Yes. Anyway, as always, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you again next time. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please help out the channel by leaving a like or a comment and subscribing. Be sure to check out moegamer.net for new articles on Japanese and Japanese inspired video games, new and old, every weekday. Every month, Moegamer features an in depth exploration of an individual game or series as its cover game, so be sure to check the archives to see if your favourite has had a deep dive yet. If you'd like to support the site directly, please consider becoming a patron or buying me a coffee. You can find links to do both down in the video description. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time.